games almost give you a shop window to sort of show people what you're about. Yeah, I mean, you, you can look at it like that, but that's not in my thinking at all. You know, it's, I wanted to get back into to playing regularly so I could I could put myself in the in a position where I was able to represent my country in the in over the international break. So, you know, like I said, I'm I'm delighted to be here. I've, I, like I said, I've had a, I've had a good season. I've I've done well, and you know, I'm here now, and I just want to be able to go out there and help the team as much as possible. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. So you're obviously looking to play in one of those, what looks to be one of the most competitive positions on the team. What exactly has Stephen said he wants from his wide players? Um, I mean, for, it's obviously going to be different for, for different games, you know, and obviously based on the way the, the other teams play. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of variety in, in, in the wing backs, and I'm, I'm sure we're all pretty different different players. But you know, the, you are a, you are a main cog in the team. You want to. You want to call problem, get in the box and get crosses in and provide chances for others. But you know, you obviously also need to be able to get back and, and, and do the defensive side. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure that if we can, if we can get the, the wing backs in the team, then you know, there's, there's people out there that, that can create the chances, and, and, and we have the strikers that are able to finish it. On that decision, post following where you go, how much is playing competitively every week to try to keep your place in this Ireland squad? How, how important is that in terms of your decision making this summer? Yeah, of course. That's obviously going to be. Be a factor um, in, in 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 that terms. Um, so yeah, I mean, you obviously as a, as a footballer, you want to play regularly all the time at a, a competitive level, and you know I want to play at the highest level possible that I can, and you know I want to keep proving and showing, especially to this manager that I'm I'm, I'm more than capable to step up when when needed. And obviously, you face some good competition, obviously within Docks and Sheamus and Chio, even Young Festy coming through now. So you know there's a lot of good players in in the wing back positions, but like I said, I, I can I can play in a variety of positions. So. That also holds me in good stead. Neil Lurid in please. Hi, sorry. Um, you've been fairly regularly linked with moves to the continent. Is that something that appeals to you that you would look beyond Britain? Yeah, definitely. I, I, to, for me, the, to play abroad is, is something that I've looked at before. And, you know, there's, there's been times where I've been allowed to I've had options to go there, but Fulham didn't let me didn't let me go, and you know it's something that I definitely would like to explore. And you know I've had a I've had a lot of contact over over this summer with a few teams abroad, so you know we'll we'll see how that goes. And we'll, like I said, I need to sit down and talk to my family and and see what's best for them if, if, when that when them options come up and when something is is concrete. But you know, like I said, my full concentration now is for for these next four games, and and then I can assess my future then. Ah, no, it's been it's been more than that. It's been over the over the course of a a couple of times over the, over the, my time at Fulham. So you know, it's 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 quite difficult to deal with teams abroad in, in the way they do things. It's, it's it's a different structure. But yeah, like I said, it's it's happened a lot over the time, and it's something that I've always always wanted to do. So we'll we'll see what happens over the over the next few weeks. I just given how well it's gone as well as you Yeah, I mean, see, with with Swansea, I enjoyed my time there. It was great, but like I've said before, they, there's no option there on the table. You know, they, they they spoke to me before, and you know, they I don't think they have much budget this year. They said so, but you know, it's, it's, until they put an offer in front that I can consider, then you know, it's it's nice. I, I enjoyed it there, the way the manager plays, and it was a great club, and they took me in from day one. Especially the fans, they were they were unbelievable, and it's it's somewhere that I'd consider going back to. You know, obviously if they. If they want me back, but um, like I said, I have to. That's that's not my main aim now. Is about where I'm going to be. Is is to to come away here to help the lads, to help the team, and, and you know we want to we want to bring the country some joy over the next few weeks. Got a few more questions, requests. So just if we can move it along, if we can, just with Gavin, then Ed, and then Philip, and then Paul. Okay. Hi, sorry. Okay. Great period, Swansea, in the latter half of the season. But how tough was the first half on the sidelines? Yeah, no, it was tough for the, the, the first what, six months. Um, it, it was tough. Um, obviously, at, at times, obviously I, was, I wasn't allowed in the training ground um, when anyone was in there. Um, I had to train on my own a few times, well, a lot of the time. And then I was playing out of position. I was playing in, um, in, in a different position in, in midfield as a CDM under him. So it was it was very, very different. But like I said, he's, he had a lot. A lot of players to choose from, and the manager made a decision, and that's that's part and parcel of football. I, I didn't cry about it. I just got on with it. I came in every day with a smile on my face, and and waited for my opportunity. And I, I got that at Swansea, and I think I took it with both hands, and I went out there and showed people what I'm capable of. And you know, and over the, the course of the 22 games, you know, I had 
three goals, five, six assists. So, you know, it was it was a good season, and obviously I didn't really want the season to end. I wanted to wanted it to keep going, but yeah, it was it was it was obviously the, the first half of the season was a big contrast to the second half, and you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to look back on that now. It's my time there's done, and you know, it's, it's I'm just looking forward now to to what the future holds. Yeah, so no, no, why you were like not allowed to train when anyone else in the building. <laughs> Listen, I, I haven't got a clue either. I, they, no one gave me an answer, and it's, that was a decision they made, and and I had to just get on with it. You know, like I said, I didn't cry about it. I just got on with it and, and carried on training because you know there's always an opportunity around the corner, and, and you have to stay ready. Thanks, Ed, please. Sorry, sir. You doing? Yeah, okay. We were talking to Callum Robinson yesterday, and he it was his opinion that the current forward unit that was picked in the squad is probably the strongest he's ever come. Up into a squad alongside. Just in terms of um, players that you've played against this season, um, especially younger lads coming through, can you give us an insight into what attributes to hold? Like, is there a real mix of, of forwards in that in that pack? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of lot of options to choose from. Obviously, some of the boys I, I haven't played against, so but you know they they show their quality when they're here. You can see, I think Troy is, is done really well at MK, and Will's done really well, and. Obviously, Over I played with him for, for six months, so I, I really know what he's capable of. And, and Callum, I've played over the years. Sometimes I've seen him on the wing and, and up front, but you know, I mean, I think all of them have got goals in them. And, and you know, there's a lot of creativity up there from them as well. They're not just all out and out strikers. Some of them can drop in deep, and you know, that's it's great that there's a variety of different strikers up there to to choose from. Even if you chill when he's up there, he's, he's got the pace to get in behind, and so is Festy as well. To to cause problems, so yeah, like you said, there's some there's some great players up there that that have got massive potential and massive careers ahead of them, and and there's lads that have been there and done that as well that that, that know what they know what to do and, and to stick the ball in the back of the net. Philip, please. Uh, sorry, sorry, thank you. Um, not too many players in the squad played in a first Nations League game, but you did. Did I? Yeah. 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 Uh, Who was that against? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Remember that? Uh, that was a uh, centre mid one, right? Yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah, no. That was a, that was obviously a, a long time ago now, wasn't it? So yeah, I mean, it's, you know, so it is a long time ago. I mean, I played a, obviously an unusual position then. Um, in terms of centre mid, I was having to do a variety of roles in in that position. It wasn't just sitting there. I had to cover a lot of a lot of ground and and do a lot of different things. But you know, we're in a we're in a different place now. We're in, we've got a lot of great players here. And, you know, obviously we've we've got a strong squad. You know, we've, even in training then, when there were so many boys to choose from, and even a few boys having to, to sit out and, and interchange. So, you know, we've got a lot of great depth, and you know, I'm sure that when everyone's called upon, that we can we can put on performances over over the next few weeks. Paul, please, finally. You said obviously the first six months of the season were pretty tough. Um, you've had to be patient with Aaron as well. But from what you're saying, you seem to be very confident now after the last couple of months at Swansea. You're a good age, 29. Yeah. You feel now this is your time to really kind of make a big impact for Ireland. I know you've got pretty good caps and you've yeah. for a while. Chance to push on and really search yourself. Yeah, of course. I mean, like you said, it's, the first six months was tough and I've gone away now and played really well and, and you know, I'd say my confidence is high. It's just obviously being given the opportunity to, to, to showcase your confidence really and, you know, obviously I, I'm hoping that I can get picked and it's always tough and obviously Matt's playing and like you've got Seamus as well and, and Doc's there, obviously great players, so it's, it's a big big competition <coughs> in front. But, you know, I, I feel as when I when I play well and when I'm playing well then you know that, that I can also do just as good a job as them. and I know a lot of the time a lot of people have always wanted Doc's in the team when 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 I've been playing and obviously people have made it clear and I've seen that and I understand but Doc's is also at the same time was playing at the same level as me, so you know, it was just down to what the manager wanted and, and obviously Doc's has kicked on and gone from strength to strength and you know, at times he hasn't played also, and when I've been playing, and sometimes maybe I thought that I could have been playing and and done a job as well. But I've always made myself ready and available for my country, even when you might be a bit upset that you haven't been picked or you're not starting. But you know, I think that I've always come in and I've given 110 percent, wherever that's been. And sometimes you don't play great, you don't play well. But you know, I think that I've always done a job when I've I've come in and played for my country, and I don't think I've let them down. And um, so yeah, I mean, I'm 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 full of confidence. I obviously want to go out there and, and showcase that and if the manager is going to pick me and he wants me to play then you know that I'm more than ready but I'm also more than ready to, to support the lads and, and push them on and like you said it's a, it's a long it's a long camp there's a lot of games so 
you know, I'm sure I'll be needed at some point. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Cheers.